Hey guys! Uh, so we are dyeing our hair today and I'm excited. This is um, the Feria. It is exclusively for light blondes. I'm gonna have some light blonde in here. Um, it is Rosy Blush Smoky Pink P2. She is stunning. I'm wearing my uh, hair dye shirt. So, in case you didn't already know it was a hair dye video, wear my shirt. Um, okay, so let's do this. Um, and the colors on the side that it shows, I mean, it still shows it to be quite pink even on a dark blonde or darker blonde, whatever. We're gonna find out. Um, I am excited. It's very pretty. And uh, I do think that, and I think we can all agree in the past, you know, whatever, however many years, uh, drugstore colors have really made a come up. Uh, so I'm kind of excited. Oh my, this has different conditioners. Oh no, never mind. Maybe I should read the directions. Okay, there is a conditioner. Oh, they're calling it a shimmery conditioner developer. A shimmery conditioning multifaceted cream color. I do hate the gloves, but it's light pink, so I don't think it's gonna do that much damage, so I'm gonna do... Oh, it says it's only 20 minutes. Oh, that's so funny. It says if your hair is darker than what they recommend on here, which it definitely is, mine is. It says, um, pre-lighten with one of the L'Oreal Paris Feria bleaches. Wait at least 14 days after bleaching before using that product. Does anyone really ever wait that long? Like conditioner and then this is the color. Um, it does say permanent, if you were curious. Um, so this color is supposed to be permanent, but we all know colors like this um, fade uh, pretty quickly usually, which is fine. Um, just, I think I addressed that in my last video, like I just don't understand the whole like why are they calling colors permanent? when they don't actually permanently stay in your hair, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is only 20 minutes, that's kinda cool. So the other colors it says for 25 minutes, but it says the smoky pastels are only 20 minutes. have darker roots than the rest of my hair and I like it that way. I think it looks more realistic on me. Like listen we all know I don't have naturally blonde hair. Okay I am gonna need a regular mirror for this. Uh, you're probably like why Jen your application is not that good. You know what? It's not, but I still would like to see what I'm doing, even if what I'm doing isn't all that great. Um, we're in the process of moving, so I don't have my usual setup. Uh, hopefully my new setup is even better, but I'll let you guys know. Well, it smells like normal hair dye, so there's that. In case you were like, maybe it smells better. No, no it doesn't.
Got a little on the hair dye shirt. It's all good. I'm going to check the back. I think I did a pretty thorough job, but I will check the back and wait 20 minutes and then we'll see what this looks like. <clears throat> hey guys, so this is our after of the Feria Smoky Pink. So it is quite cute. Um, it is nice. It's definitely like a rosy tinge. Um, I do like it. Um, and I will say, I feel like it's not showing here, but in, in real life, um, I feel like it also lightened my roots a bit. I don't know if it's necessarily, that's one of the things it's supposed to do, but I feel like it did. So my roots are a little bit lighter. They are more of a, um, like golden tinge than the rest, the rest is kind of a cool toad smoky pink, but I feel like the darker portions of my hair lightened a little bit and look a little golden-ish. Um, so anyways, I think it's pretty cute and I like it and I'm happy with it and I will let you know in the description box below um, or with additional pictures uh, how it wears as time progresses. Thank you guys so much.